last year, um, President McRobbie and, uh, and his wife came to visit Turkey, where we had a concert of Şimdi Ensemble. When Laurie McRobbie found out that I was an IU graduate and that, that I had not been back in Bloomington in about 20 years or so, she said, oh, well, I really like this music and you really have to come back to Bloomington. And then she said, oh, we have this world music festival where ensemble will be so well suited. And of course, it, it's, a, it's a good, uh, good match for our IU residency program, we came uh, as a trio uh, with my composer and singer friend, uh, Bora Wimas, and Mehmet Yalgan, who's a Kemanche player, and myself with the harp and the cheng. We have had about 13 events in which we took part. So it's huge. Uh, we were busy um, teaching classes at Jacobs for the music theory department, for the composition department. I taught some classes for um, the harp department. We performed for ethnomusicology and we also gave a lecture. So I think that we put Turkey on the musical map of Indiana University in a short amount of time. Another emotional moment was performing a recital in front of my distinguished uh, um, professor, Suzanne MacDonald. I mean, I have not been able to perform uh, in situations where she was present and all her class was there. She's such an amazing uh, figure and she inspires me every day. Uh, in my professional life. So it's just so nice that I was able to play and she was there and got feedback from her and got to spend some time with her. And a very special moment came yesterday when I had I met uh, with the Office of the um, Entrepreneurship for Musicians. Uh, there is an office uh, within the Jacobs. And I met with uh, some freshmen and, and master students, part of the Project Jumpstart. And that was really an emotional moment for me because it took me back to when I was their age and how I saw life. And I thought that some really amazing things have happened here in terms of preparing young people you know, for a professional career. We didn't have that back then. You know? We didn't have such an office. We didn't meet with people like that. And so I think that the school has made great progress towards uh, really integrating musicians into professional life. And uh, I was just very happy to see that. I'm very moved just that so many students wanted to listen to my own story, uh, whether it was I at IU and all those things that I did afterwards. And without that, this residency would not be complete. I mean, just this personal you know, storytelling and was really, really touched. I mean, I almost had tears in my eyes. Uh -huh. <laughs>